back everybody. So today we're gonna try Double Juice IPA from Great Divide. Uh, 12 ounce can, I thought I saw the ABV. Yeah, 8% ABV, so we are into that Imperial Double IPA. Uh, I don't want to read the back yet, so I'm going to stay away from it. Juicy IPA, I'm guessing this is more along the lines of a New England IPA or a double New England IPA. Let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass and see what we think. I did, did pick this up at Megabev, um, so the sticker's not on it anymore. Usually at Megabev they have it in front, uh, but on some of the end caps, then they'll have the stickers on there. Big head. Um, Off-white, a little yellowish color tint coming out of there. From that pour, about three and a half fingers of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Color, yeah, um, orange yellowish. Uh, pretty, eh, all those bubbles in there. Um, I would say medium uh, haziness in this one, not full haze. Lots and lots of bubbles, but from that head, I think we should expect that. Uh, this glass is etched. You guys are seeing a little bit more of a milky yellow, more double New England IPA than what I am. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a smell out of this. Like uh, a tart, I wouldn't, I shouldn't say tart, a uh, lemony um, citrus rind. A little bit of malt, but 8%, you might get some of that. I would say this: the citrus sticks out the most. Uh, lemon comes to my mind first. Um, lemon rind um, in there. Uh, I almost want to say a little acidic, like that lemon, but there, there's a little bit of malt. Yeah, I, I would say more citrus side of a double New England IPA with a little bit of malt. Um, let's see if we can taste this without getting it all over my beard. Hmm, that almost tastes more like very juicy fruit. Um, a little bitterness, but I do like more bitterness in my New England IPAs than that sweetness. And this one, at least from that first taste, there is more bitterness in here than it is sweet. There's some malt. It's... Like a, a bitter citrus, generic, uh, ge generic citrus, generic fruit, but I almost want to say now orange rind bitterness in there because it doesn't have that tangy grapefruit. I thought from the smell, uh, from that being lemon, like a acidic tartness. Um, in there. I really don't get that, so I think I would lean more towards like an orange rind bitterness um, in the back end of that. Smooth. Um, yeah, there. That drink. Let's see if we can pour some more in here. That was more like a very juicy tropical fruit sweetness but right when it goes down uh, you get that big burst of bitterness in there i shouldn't say big big but like a uh, heavily bitter double new england ipa like a a boss tweed uh being like 75 ibus but still being a double new england ipa something like that in there I like the citrus. Uh, see, now that drink was more citrus, so it's it's almost every other drink is citrus. I think, if anything, at least for me, there's a little too much malt. 
up front. It doesn't, there's not a lot, uh, but I think it's enough to almost tell your brain this was supposed to be like a double IPA where you're going to get a little bit of that malt sweetness. The sweetness is there, but it's not as much, but that malt is. Um, 3.75 out of 5. Um, I think that kind of ruins it, at least for me, but we're going to, here, let's check the back of this just to see what they say. Um, okay, Azaka and Idaho 7 hops were used. Double juicy IPA. Um, huge notes of peach candy, mango, and pineapple. Hints of berry. I can see the berry in back now. Um, I wouldn't have said candied peach in there. Strata hops are also used. But it, the crazy part, unless I'm wrong, they call out, you know, like peach candy, mango, and pineapple. But at the top of that, right there, isn't that an orange like a full orange and then orange peel. Why why wouldn't they say anything about citrus? Hmm. That's weird. It's still good. Um would I buy more of it? Probably not. Uh but yeah, it's still good. Let's check on tap, see how bad I'm off. Uh oh, I don't know what I did. Um, two of my friends have tried it, 3.75, so I'm right in line with them. A little over 2,000 people, two or 3.84, so all in the realm. Um, style guidelines, juicy, hoppy, citrusy, hazy, sweet. Um, they See, in, in there, they, uh, they really don't call out fruit like it says on the can. Uh, so I'm not sure... Why they would say all that about fruit, but then have citrus pictures on it, then if style guidelines are done by that brewery, um, yeah, that they would not list tropical or fruity or something like that. But yeah, if you're into beers like this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, cheers.